Yes, so the thing is to understand uh, where the closed and the uh, open vowels are. So not being your native language, you need really to take the time mm, to listen at good, at good uh, recordings or to work well with an Italian coach mm -hmm. <laughs> and write. Mm -hmm. You have to, the t uh, to take the time to write really down Open, closed, open, closed, because it's not uh, not familiar, it's not normal for you. Eh? Allora, the way to study it, of course, is to say it, to speak it. Eh? Before we sing it, we need to be able to speak it out like a, an actress, a Shakespearean actress does, okay? Chi o mi scordi di te? It has to be easy, like under the shower. So it has to be really in the system, automatic pilot almost. Chi o mi scordi di te? So, scord is open, you hear it? Scord is open. Eh? And also listen and watch out, uh, like in every language, there are certain accents or certain, how would I say, uh, moments mm, where the, sand, the sentence lands. Some vowels which are longer. Eh? Chi io mi scordi di te? Here it's the O. Uh, but in other moments, maybe you have a short value but the accents uh, actually of the language mm, obliges you to make this that little short note longer because we do respect the accent of the spoken language. This is the thing. Then it sounds really like Italian, otherwise it sounds like American. Right. Yeah, okay. Laura, can we say it first? Kio. Oh, that is good. This is really in the flow. To be able to say it like, yeah, speaking. And then, mm -hmm. in the flow. Legato. Mm -hmm. Like when we speak, we speak in the flow. We don't speak making this kind of things. Right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, studying a recitativo, which is not your language, you start singing it like this. Io mi scordi di te, io mi scordi di te, as if you would speak it, okay, on some notes, but mm. this flow, the, the flow of the parlato mm -hmm. should be there, huh? better, can we say it once, uh, can we sing it once, one octave lower, io mi so that you get used? Io mi scordi di te. Oh, better, huh? And how would it be then? For real? Yeah. <laughs> Io. Oh. Io mi scordi di te. Ah, oh, it sounds nice. Sounds nice, huh? But there is a preparation. And now the same story in the second sentence. Allora. Che a lui mi doni, puoi consigliarmi. Did you hear that there are some vowels which are longer than ours, uh, others or not? There are some vowels, independently of the, um, the, the length of the notes, there are some vowels, if we would speak it, we would just make some vowels longer. This is the accent and the music uh, of the language, of the Italian language in that case. Uh. Che a lui mi doni, also this U is quite long, do you hear? Che a lui mi doni, puoi consigliarmi. Do you hear it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and we respect this, uh, we transpose this in the, in the singing actually, then it sounds really like, ah, italianità, mm -hmm. the italianity, eh? yeah? Mm -hmm. So can you say it once? Che a lui mi doni, puoi consigliarmi. Yes, much better. Actually, a very good result not being a native Italian. Brava. Che a lui mi doni, puoi consigliarmi. Che a lui mi doni, puoi consigliarmi. Puoi, puoi, uoi, uoi. Uoi. Mm. So we need to hear uh, uh, the three, eh? Puoi, muoi. It's like a, a wheel, no? 
puoi consigliarmi and you see that uh, I try to really uh, give a dignity a place and the space and the length uh, a life to uh, all the consonants I don't know if you noticed that puoi consigliarmi they are alive mm -hmm. and if possible I put, I put really a sound I really put a pitch and uh, a note yeah? yeah okay now we are here we can try it first uh, yeah lower lui mi doni puoi consigliarmi so that you don't get too tired che a lui mi doni puoi consigliarmi consigliarmi a eh? consigliarmi <laughs> because 